Hello and welcome to the Brown IDC News. It's April 12th and this is your number one news source, Brown <laughs> Elementary. We hope you enjoyed your spring break and are ready to take on these last two months of the school year. There has been so much excitement with Family Fun Night and the Book Fair, followed by spring break and the eclipse. Yes, and then we had our first ever Portrait of a Learner Day. That was a great way to ease back into school and learn about some great opportunities in our community. Yes, learning about our eyes and importance of protecting them during amazing eclipses. Speaking of the eclipse, I think my eclipse was great. How was yours? I think mine was good. Don't forget, your family can send in a solar eclipse glasses and they will be reused at the future solar eclipse that is happening in South America. Learning about force and motion with Lodo was also awesome because of their technology and designs. What do you think? I think it was amazing because you're able to imagine the technology and where you're able how you're able to make it in different ways and how people are able to request that you can make this and you can earn a lot of money from doing it. Not to mention all of the cool resources that the library shared, but be sure to share the library flyer with your family so that you can be sure to get a library card and use those apps. We also got to learn about the importance of our culture here at Brown. How we treat each other matters, and we can create an incredible culture by being kind to each other and holding up our foundation. Religion is also a part of our community culture, and many of our friends in Hilliard are celebrating, celebrating a holiday this week. It began Tuesday night. Eid Hubarak. Do you know why I have off school on Wednesday? It was Eid. Eid is when we stop fasting for the holy month of Ramadan. And it is a nice celebration because you might get gifts and money if you celebrate Eid. Eid is where you spend time with cousins and family and friends. The March Book Madness Picture Book Champion has been decided. And this year, the past title won for the second time. Pulling it out in the championship was Hidden Gems and The Day the Crayons Quit with Drew Daywalt's book taking top honors. It's time for the Oliver Hazard Perry Ohio History Question of the Week. Last time we asked, what is this and where in Ohio can it be found? It's the Great Serpent Mound, the largest oh, serpent effigy in the world and at a half mile long. It is on a plateau overlooking Brush Creek Valley in Adams oh. County. Here's a new question. What is this and where in Ohio can, be, can it be found? Is your family one of the 70 families that ordered a free tree? Well, the time for them to be delivered is quickly approaching. Today is Friday, April 26th this year, and we should be receiving our tree sometime that week. You can start to plan with your family to find a great spot for your tree. It's time to celebrate the birthdays from April 1st to April 18th. Be sure to come and get your birthday pencil in the office.